Hello, welcome to my video. This video will be on how to configure the uh, firewall for Puppy Linux 5.5 uh, wearing. It's always a good idea before you go on or start to use the internet to make sure that your firewall has been configured and is on. Uh, that way anybody that you don't want to um, look into your computer or gain access to your computer through your ports can't do it um, especially if your firewall is properly configured so like most uh, Linux distributions puppy Linux does come with a firewall the setup is a uh, very easy let's go over that now so if we go to the setup um, uh, icon and you can reach that either here by clicking on the icon or going down to the start menu and clicking on setup there or you can right click on the uh, desktop and go to setup and then from there you can cl uh, you can configure your firewall so what we're going to do though is uh, left click on the setup icon alright and then we're going to go down to where it says setup firewall okay give me one moment here let me go ahead and zoom in for those viewers that can't see let me zoom out now just a little bit okay I think that will do all right so I'm sorry let's start over once more you go to the setup uh, icon and left click on that and then you with your mouse you go down to where it's set up firewall and you left click on that button and this comes up Linux firewall configuration utility okay and give me a moment let me go ahead and zoom in just a little bit more all right and then from here you just read the directions for how to configure your firewall now if you want to set the automatic defaults you can choose the first option that's highlighted in blue or if you want to uh, scroll down oops sorry hold on let me get my mouse in here okay or you can scroll down to the second one which also has defaults um, if you choose this one then you don't have to a answer any questions I believe with this one you do I would suggest that you scroll down to where it says custom installation with custom installation it will allow you to go ahead and configure your firewall by answering a few easy questions so let's choose custom and then choose OK and then on your keyboard just press the enter button okay from here it uh, takes you to some services that your firewall has access to and that either they can open the services or close the services if the services are open then that means that the ports that go through that service will be open and that may uh, allow some hacker or some or uh, excuse me a black hat hacker to go ahead and try and uh, uh, um, illegally log or get uh, gain access to your computer. Um, so what you want to do is you can come through here and you can choose which ports or services to open and which ones to close. So the only one I see right now is the one for SSH which is off of port 22. If you're not using SSH um, at the t at the time um, go ahead and uh, close that port and the best way to do that is to come here and with your on your keyboard if you go down to your service choose the service and then press the space bar that should take the um, asterisk out of there okay and then you can just scroll down and look for other services a good rule of thumb is if you don't need the service then it doesn't need to be activated or open okay so again
But if you do have a service that you want to open, whatever it is, DNS, what have you, uh, choose choose the service, and then on your keyboard, press the space button. That selects it. If you want to deselect it, then press the uh, the um, space bar once more. All right. So for us, what we want to do is we want to make sure no services are uh, open or active. None of them are at this point. So you just from here you just go ahead and press the enter button on the keyboard after making sure that the OK is highlighted and if it's not on OK let's say it's on cancel then you can e either with your uh, right or left mouse uh, I'm sorry either with your right or left uh, arrows on your keyboard you can go from OK to cancel from cancel to OK you can also use the tab button on your keyboard as well so either the tab button or the right or left uh, arrows on your keyboard for now we just want to choose OK and then we press enter alright and then it asks you here do you share do you wish to share your internet connection with a private internal network that's usually your LAN that's either at your house or at school or on the job or something like that um, if you do want to you press yes if you press yes then it's going to ask you for further information about your private network to include the IP address and the default gateway if you just want to use the internet connection that you have puppy Linux installed on for that computer I would just choose I would write arrow over to no and then just press enter okay right here is going to ask you to install any trusted networks that you uh, that you feel that you want to have connected to you um, again this is asking for your uh, for the IP address the subnet mask and possibly even you can put it in the host or the uh, uh, default gateway uh, if you don't have anything you can just leave it at OK at default and leave leave it blank and then just press OK all right at this point your firewall is now ready to be installed but it's going to do a quick test to make sure that everything is working everything's okay this is a recommended uh, step I recommend you go ahead and do it to make sure that your firewall is configured correctly so just press enter and as you can see right here it says check output will follow and as it showed uh, they did a sanity check or a firewall check and it showed that it passed and then all you need to do now is press any key to uh, continue alright the firewall is now ready to be enabled your system configuration will also be modified so that the firewall will be started each time your computer is booted now if you're just working off of the live CD this is not gonna work uh, or I'm sorry if you're booting off of the live CD it will not save your firewall configurations as soon as you turn it off your firewall is going to be off and none of your your settings or configurations will be saved this only works if you have uh, puppy Linux installed on your hard drive uh, permanently um, but in either case you can go ahead and choose yes and hit the enter button to continue okay and it did another quick test um, and it finished as you can see it passed built they built the firewall and then it was successfully secured off of my IP address which at this point was 10.0.2.15 installation is now complete firewall script it has finished and to go ahead and finish and complete out of this you just press the enter button and we are finished we have finished uh, configuring our firewall it's just that simple that's all you need to do to uh, set up your firewall I hope this video was helpful to you thank you very much and you have a good day